Shout out to who else I want to shout. I want to congratulate Chief Elder Zion Lex on his his newest accomplishment that he uh, just published the Messiah Codex, a textual analysis of the messianic prophecies. Who is who is he? The mystery of Isaiah 53 by Adviel Ben Levi right here. And I, I actually uh, we talked early today. And I was laughing a little bit because there was certain parts in here that I was like, hey, this is that's pretty cool. I like how you put it together. So very phenomenal job, Chief Lex. Very, very phenomenal job. Very phenomenal job. And you were right, because at first when I was reading it, I was kind of like going like on, I was swaying on one side and I was like, dang, OK, I think I might got a flow of how the book is going to be. And he was like, brother, let me tell you something when you get. So a few couple of chapters in, you're going to see even a more fuller perspective of wh where I'm, you know, where I'm coming from. And um, I just finished the book just now in the car. Just finished the book right now. I love the book because it's a short read and a short read is really good for people because sometimes people lose their attention span. This book, it gives you just enough to absorb and digest so that way when another book comes, which I believe he put it out there, uh, I'm not going to try to give anything else away, but I do know that there is a volume two coming. I ain't going to say anything else about anything else, but there's a volume two coming. And I think that's coming out. I'm not sure. Maybe like in a couple of months or something like that or sooner. I don't know. I got to check and see. But it's a follow up of this one, volume one. And I'm going to tell you guys something. This right here is it's genius. It's pure genius. And it's not coming from a biased uh, stance. It's coming from just as a researcher myself for truth. Some of the information, from my opinion in here, I was privy to it based off of me trying to do my own diligent research on certain matters. And I stumbled across certain things. I do see the spirit of the great late Ben Ami as well a little bit. I kind of felt that energy on this book too. Um, the the great late Ben Ami, I kind of felt that energy with this book. So all praise to the Most High. The brother's definitely in the spirit because I felt that energy from him. I felt Ben Ami's energy within this book. I definitely felt that. Um, but it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. One of the reasons why I think this book is phenomenal is because... Zion has a way of he basically took all of the hard work away from like the average Joe that are that is trying to basically find all these missing pieces to the puzzle. He basically put the hard research in one book for everybody to basically be like, you really don't have to dig that hard. He gives you the info like in in the book. So you're not pulling your hair out your head. That's what I love about this book, because I know before this, you know, like um, I know Ben Ami had a book based off of that with um, similar to it, like with the Messiah uh, versus, you know, the other different types of versions uh, that people try to accumulate all together in one. So this right here was unique because he basically he did all the research that he possibly could. And he put it all in the book as a map and a guide for people that are on that journey of truth and to extend their intellectual side of things, their education side of things and to grow spiritually. This book right here is definitely phenomenal. It's, I would say it could be even for a novice or somebody intermediate or somebody on a different level. I think it's for all levels, honestly. So I would definitely recommend getting this book. I would definitely recommend it. It's a short read. Um, you could definitely get through it. it. It reads very smoothly as well. It's not confusing. It gets straight to the point. He breaks it down for certain terms. So that way you understand, you know, certain terminologies that you may have not heard before. He breaks those things down. He definitely gives a lot of backing with biblical context too. So it's not just, like his words that he's putting out there. He also can, he backs it up with scriptures too. So I thought that was amazing too, to see how everything flew in unison. 
everything flew in sync. Um, everything just, it harmonized together. The information in here is definitely going to be like a roller coaster. I will say that because he gives you all, he gives you like two sides of the coin. He gives you like two sides of the coin. <clears throat> and then basically you build off of those different viewpoints and perspectives, right? And then you can start to formulate you know, your journey towards more truth. So he definitely did a phenomenal job with that. It was very organized, very to the point. It, it, it gave a lot of, uh, what's the word? It gave a lot of extra, uh, extra sources um, credited sources. It gave a lot of extra credited sources from, from different materials, um, from a historical stance to help back some of the, the stances that were presented within the book as well. So I, I did like that and it was just well put together. You know what I'm saying? It was well put together. I'm excited to see volume two. So if you guys haven't got a chance to get your copy, definitely get your copy on Amazon. All right. You can look it up under Zion Lex and you can type in Messiah Codex. It's everywhere. Everybody's posting the video or photo of them with the book. And I'm telling you now from me personally, not only supporting black business, supporting my brother, my Hebrew brother, which a lot of us have failed to really understand that that type of that type of system of supporting your own. A lot of us have this crabs in the barrel mentality because sometimes if, if this brother's over here winning and I'm not winning, I don't want to support him because I'm salty. I'm jelly because I want to be what this brother's doing. And that type of mentality that we do have within the, the black community, as well as in the Hebrew community, it's very contagious is very sickening and it, it does us a disservice as a people. Cause I'm going to tell you guys something I win. And this is my little formula. I win because I hang and I support and, and surround myself around other brothers that are winning too. So I love that energy because that energy rubs off on me. You know what I'm saying? You always want to be around people that are winning because if you're around your association, if they're winning, you're going to start winning if you're not winning already. You see what I'm saying? If you're around high caliber people, if you're around people that are pursuing the betterment for themselves and the betterment for their community, you're going to follow suit if you aren't already. And so that's the thing about it. I love that. I love that positive energy. I love that winning energy, right? I'm, I was popping bottles last night. We was getting it in. We were celebrating because we, look, I'm working on my second book. First book is already out, published, Amazon, getting on Barnes & Noble within a couple of days. We winning, everybody's winning. And there's nothing wrong with congratulating other kings, other black men. There's nothing wrong with that. But we have this mentality of we're so divided. This person's not part of my clip, uh, you know. He, they with this set over here and, and they not throwing up the crypts, they pyruing and everybody's divided, but I don't see that. All I see is a bunch of Kings trying to win, not even trying to win that are winning, that they are crushing the game. And I'm a part of that circle. Right. And I hope to see the rest of you guys a part of that circle winning too, because if one of us win, we all win. And that's the mentality that we have to be in going from 2023 and so on for the future. That's the mindset we got to be in because because of that formula, I'm winning, right? And hopefully you guys understand that too. But peace and blessings. Salute to the King Zion Lex. Hope you get this. It was a phenomenal job. I give it 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. This is my second or third book I already have. I have DNA of sound and I have the other one that it went into, um, I forgot the title of it, but it had like the pen and the Hebrew in the background. 
And then I got the DNA of sound with the flames and the alphabet of it. And then I have this one. So this is like my second or third book that I have. And I do plan on buying the whole set, whatever he has coming out with this, this volume, this volume series, I plan on purchasing it. Not only because I want to support my brother, because it's, it's really high quality information is really high quality information, right? Um, so if you're about growth and if you're a true student to truth, you would invest into this, right? You would invest into this. Stop thinking with closed minds. Closed minds don't get fed. I think who said that? Rick Ross? I think Rick Ross said that closed minds don't get fed. Closed minds don't get fed. Absolutely not. So get you guys another copy. If you don't, um, you can gift it. You can get your own copy. Get as many copies as you need. Definitely take notes. Highlight this bad boy because I'm going to definitely highlight mine's up. Um, you can definitely use it for personal class teachings, lessons. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely add it to your library. So I think it's a good look for 2023. You got my two thumbs up on the book, on the book brother. Excellent job. Can't wait to see volume two. And what else you got next coming? So peace. Blessings, prosperity, and abundance. Shalom.